Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Timo Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with the VIC readings. The format where we look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today, we have Celestica, CLS, the ticker is. Price at the point of filing is $13.50. Uh, this is not a recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything. And let's get right into it. Description, Celestica Inc. is ticker CLS summary. We focus on smaller companies with a Fort Knox balance sheet and large sustainable free cash flow yields. And we are typically seeking a double digit FCF yield or higher on an unleveraged basis. The, ob the objective is for the sustainable FCF to eventually drive up the share price to a more reasonable valuation through share buybacks, debt reductions, dividends, or accredited acquisitions. Obviously, it is important we have a management team that cares about shareholder value. We focus on small cap stocks because there's a much better chance to find an attractive investment opportunity which is underfollowed or are underdiscovered. Celestica Inc. CLS provides hardware platform and supply chain solutions in North America, Europe, and Asia. It operates through two segments, Advanced Technology Solutions, ATS, and a Connectivity and Cloud Solutions, CCS. The company offers a range of product manufacturing and related supply chain services, including design and development, engineering, supply chain management, new product introduction, introduction component sourcing, electronics manufacturing and assembly, and more. It also provides enterprise-level data communications and information processing infrastructure products, such as routers, switches, data center, interconnectors, um, edge solutions, and more. The company serves aerospace and defense, industrial, energy, health, capital equipment, original equipment manufacturers, cloud-based, and other service providers. Celestica Inc. was incorporated in 1994 and is headquartered in Toronto, Canada. CLS has several characteristics that we like, including number one, a highly resilient business model with deep customer relationships. Number two, a highly cash generative business with low capital expect expenditure needs. Number three, a strong focus on higher value added services with longer term and stickier customer relationships. Number four, an attractive valuation trading at 4.5x adjusted EBITDA. Five, a focus on industries that are sustainably growing over the long term. Six, a record of strong sales growth, both organic and inorganic. Seven, a disciplined management team focused on accredited acquisitions. Eight, a Fort Knox balance sheet with net debt at under 1x adjusted EBITDA. Nine, a powerful global fit food sorry, footprint. And a 10, a long-term strategy to grow sales and EBITDA and 12, where's 11? I'm confused. A high RIC business model with limited capital requirements. Over the past five years, CLS has shifted its business model to much higher value added relationships with customers with higher margins and longer contract periods. CLS focused on highly engineered and designed solutions to deeply integrate into its customers. CLS also focused on specific markets and verticals and industries which had strong long-term growth potential. CLS eliminated lower margin work and removed some large revenue contracts and relationships with lower margin profiles. CLS is an industry leader in product and uh, platform uh, solutions across higher value market based on the following goals. Number one, grow life cycle solutions revenue by leveraging their leadership and position in targeted industries. Number two, invest in differentiated capabilities to capitalize on current future secular tailwinds. Number three, drive operational excellence enabled by a Celestica operating system and peer leading supply chain resiliency. CLS has a solid foundation for growth as demonstrated by the transformation over the last several years in the chart below. The primary driver of CLS improved growth and financial results has been its life cycle solution strategy, which is summarized below. The life cycle solutions represents a higher value added and stickier and longer term relationships with customers and have steadily grown as a percentage of total sales. Lifecycle solutions were represented about 66% of total sales for CLS in 2022. We expect lifecycle solutions to continue to increase its share of total sales for CLS in the future and drive improved growth and profitability. CLS has an attractive valuation, especially given its recent growth profile driven by its lifecycle solution strategy. 
In 2022, which included the PCI LTD uh, acquisition completed in November 2021, CLS grew revenues 29% and adjusted EBITDA 38% and adjusted EPS by 46%. CLS has 125 million shares outstanding, trading at about $13.50 per share for a market cap of about $1.65 billion. CLS has net debt at 12 30, uh, 31st of 2022 of about $411 million. CLS has an enterprise value of about $2.1 billion, which compares to 2022 adjusted EBITDA of about $465 million or about 4.5x LTM adjusted EBITDA. Further, CLS earned adjusted EPS of about $1.70 per share in 2022, which compares to its current, pi current price of about $13.50 per share or about 8x. We believe these multiples are depressed and remain extremely attractive given CLS strong growth and revenue and adjusted EBITDA and adjusted EPS over the past few years. We believe the market has not recognized CLS more resilient and predictable business model, which it developed over the past five years, and its strong revenue and pro a profit growth in the last couple of years. As CLS continues to execute and grow both organically and inorganically, we believe the market will eventually recognize CLS with more appropriate earnings multiples. We believe CLS can continue its strong growth trend over the last few years in revenues, adjusted EBITDA and adjusted EPS. CLS originally projected a adjusted EPS of about $2 per share in 2025, but due to strong recent organic and inorganic growth, CLS expects to achieve close to $2 per share in adjusted EPS in 2023. We believe CLS can achieve adjusted EPS of $2.50 per share or more by 2025 and trade for a modest 10x multiple of adjusted EPS, which would result in a stock price of about $25 per share as compared to the current $13.5 per share. On an EBITDA basis, we believe CLS could grow adjusted EBITDA from a $465 million in 2022 to $500 million or more by 2025 and trade for a modest 6x adjusted EBITDA with a net debt close to zero. Based on 125 million shares outstanding, this would result in a share price of about $24 per share. Further, we believe CLS strategic and diversified manufacturing platform and long-term customer relationships could be attractive to either a strategic or financial purchaser. Business Description Celestica Inc. CLS is a small cap stock which is a global leader in innovative and end-to-end -end product lifecycle solutions. It operates through two segments. Advanced Technology Solutions, ATS, and Connectivity and Cloud Solutions, CCS. The company offers a range of product manufacturing and related supply chain services. The company serves the aerospace and defense, in, uh, and defense industrial, energy, health tech, capital, equipment industries, among others. Celestica is focused on enabling the world's technology brands. The company is tailoring customer-centric solutions for the market, uh, markets it serves and operating a global network of sites with uh, spe specialized centers of excellence. Celestica is an electronics contract manufacturer based in Toronto, Canada. The company provides electronics manufacturing services, EMS, and they also provide higher value services like joint engineering and product development. The company delivers innovative supply chain solutions globally to customers in its ATS and CCS segment. The ATS segment is comprised of aerospace and defense, A and D, industrial, energy, health tech, and capital equipment businesses. The capital equipment business is comprised of semiconductor, display, and power and signal distribution equipment businesses. The CCC, uh, CCS segment consists of communications and enterprise and markets. The enterprise and market is comprised of service and storage businesses. CLS customers include original equipment manufacturers, OEM, cloud-based and other service providers, including hyperscalers and other companies in a wide range of industries. The company operates a network of sites strategically located in North America, Europe and Asia with a specialized end-to-end -end supply chain capabilities tailored to meet specific market and customer product lifecycle requirements. CLS offers a comprehensive range of product manufacturing and related supply chain services to customers in both segments, including design and development, new product introduction, engineering services, component sourcing, electronics manufacturing, and assembly and more. 
within design and development hardware platform solutions uh, solutions hbs offering includes the development of hardware products uh, hardware platforms and design solutions in collaboration with customers as well as management of the program's design and aspects of the supply chain manufacturing and off market support CLS solutions and services create value for customers by enabling their strategies while accelerating their time to market and by providing high quality, lower costs and reduced cycle times in the customer's supply chain. CLS believes this results in lower total costs of ownership, greater flexibility, higher return on invested capital and improved competitive advantages for their customers in their respective markets. Aerospace and Defense Aerospace and Defense is a leading A&D electronics manufacturing services provider with capabilities to deliver end-to-end -end solutions. Commercial aerospace has begun its recovery since its pre-pandemic levels and expected to be an ongoing significant driver of growth. CLS designs and produces components, subsystems and systems used in virtually all commercial aircraft in service today. The path to grow includes commercial air traffic increasing and new wins and logos anticipated in a defense space and UAV markets. Industrial. CLS expertise in high-volume automated manufacturing and complex product enabled um, one of the largest businesses segments after acquisition of PCI with total revenues of $1.05 billion in 2021. CLS is focused on driving increase in share in high-growth markets. The PCI acquisition, completed in 20, uh, November 2021, is seeing commercial cross-selling synergies bear fruit. Capital Equipment CLS provides highly specialized solutions for capital equipment industries with a focus on building effective, efficient supply chains to customize growth. The capital equipment industry is constantly evolving to stay ahead of the latest technology innovations. CLS is the largest end-to-end -end capital equipment manufacturer in the industry with a highly strategic footprint with a focus on high-demand geographies. Health Tech CLS is partnering with leading healthcare companies to bring critical medical devices to market. The market CLS serves in the health tech space includes uh, surgical instruments, monitoring, imaging, uh, diagnostics, and more as listed in the chart below. CLS plans to expand into high-growth markets of renal dialysis, uh, neurostimulation, and dental radiology. Hardware Platform, Sol platform Solutions Hardware Platform Solutions, HPS, is a leading hardware platform solutions provider for data center and network infrastructure markets. The anticipated data center growth is strong over several years and continues to be a growth engine for lifecycle solutions. Key capabilities are listed in the chart below, including tailor-made network in a high and in high demand geographies, robust design processes, uh, 500 plus engineers and 280 plus patents, and leading edge customizable um, hardware platform uh, portfolio. HPS has differentiated itself from its ODM and EMS competitors, including a diversified portfolio, diversified global network, customer engagement, and supplier ecosystem. Further, information regarding HPS differentiation from its ODM and EMS competitors is outlined in the chart below. Additionally, secular growth expected to continue while new demands on data centers further bolster growth. The various growth drivers that will act as catalysts such as hyperscalers announcing significant data center capex. Aging data centers, beginning refresh cycles, AI and machine learning changing data centers, architecture requirements and increasing investment in modular data science, data center and connectivity. CLS has a leadership position in networking with extensive expertise in niche, high value storage and compute. Highly resilient business model. CLS has a highly resilient business model with deep customer relationships. Over the past five years, CLS has shifted its strategy towards growing its lifecycle solutions revenue to about 66% of total revenue in 2022. These long-term design and engineering-driven high, higher value-added relationships with customers are much stickier and resilient in response to adverse macroeconomic trends. CLS has become more of a strategic partner to its customers over the last five years. CLS businesses... Uh, business is more predictable given the stronger and deeper relationships with customers. Attractive valuation. 
CLS has an attractive valuation, especially given its recent growth profile driven by its lifecycle solution strategy. CLS has 125 million shares outstanding, trading at about $13.5 per share for a market cap of off about $1.65 billion. CLS has net debt at 12 at 31st 2022 of about 411 million. CLS has an enterprise value of about 2.1 billion, which compares to 2022 adjusted EBITDA of about 465 million or about 4.5x LTM adjusted EBITDA. Further, CLS earned adjusted EPS of about $1.7 per share in 2022, which compares to its current price of about $13.50 per share or about 8x. We believe these multiples are depressed and remain extremely attractive given CLS strong growth in revenue and adjusted EBITDA and adjusted EPS over the past few years. We believe the market has not yet recognized CLS a more resilient and predictable business model which it developed over the past five years. As CLS continues to execute and grow both organically and inorganically, we believe the market will eventually recognize CLS with more appropriate earnings multiples. Highly cash generative businesses uh, with low capital expenditure needs. CLS is a highly cash generative business with low capital expenditure needs. The company has an attractive unleveraged FCF yield in the high single digit range. The company targets $100 million or more of annual free cash flow. They have generated almost two, uh, almost 1.1 billion of cumulative cash from operations over the past four years, or close uh, to two thirds of the current market cap. Also, CLS has modest capital expenditure requirements: 1% to 2% of revenues per year. CLS has completed multiple successful strategy, strategic acquisitions with its strong free cash flow. Most uh, recently, the PCI acquisition in November 2021. These strategic acquisitions have enabled CLS to significantly strengthen its business model and its resiliency. Due to strong performance, CLS has been able to do to deleverage its balance sheet after the PCI acquisition and is well positioned for additional accredited M&A opportunities. CLS has repurchased substantial shares over time for over 14% uh, of total shares outstanding in the last 5 years and over 32% of total shares in the last 10 years. Strong growth in revenues, adjusted EBITDA, and adjusted EPS. Over the past few years, CLS has shown strong growth in revenues, adjusted EBITDA, and adjusted EPS. In 2022, which included the PCI LCD acquisition completed in November 21st, uh, 2021, CLS uh, grew revenues 29% and adjusted EBITDA 38% and adjusted EPS by 46%. Well, we believe uh, we expect growth to moderate in 2023 as CLS comes these strong results. We believe CLS can continue to grow over time as it executes its life cycle solutions growth strategy and these revenues become an increasingly large share of total revenues. Fort Knox balance sheet. CLS has a Fort Knox balance sheet with 375 million in cash and 411 million net debt as of 12 31st 2022. Net debt to adjusted EBITDA is less than 1x LTM adjusted EBITDA. CLS has reduced leverage after the successful acquisition of PCR Limited in November 21. We believe CLS is well positioned to make further accredited acquisitions like PCI Limited and drive additional shareholder value. Its Fort Knox balance sheet reduces risks and enables CLS to take advantage of strategic opportunities. Focus on its industries and segments that are substantial, grow, sustain, sustainably growing over the long term. The lifecycle solution segments has been the CLS growth driver. Lifecycle solutions are higher value added in longer term and stickier customer relationships. The growing lifecycle solutions revenue concentration has enabled long term profitable growth. Lifecycle solutions has become a progressively larger share of total revenue. Lifecycle Solutions revenue consists of combined ATS segment and HPS re business revenue. HPS business revenues are in CLS, CCC, uh, CCS segment and are primarily represented revenues related to data centers and hyperscaler customers. An area of strong growth in recent years and expected con to continue into the future. Additional industries with strong long-term growth profiles and lifecycle solutions are aerospace and defense, A and S. Industrial healthcare, and capital equipment. Growth in lifecycle solutions a business increases diversification and exposure to markets with stickier customer relationships, faster growth, and accredited margins. Lifecycle solutions represented about 66% of CLS revenue in 2022. 
Additionally, Lifecycle Solutions has had a 10% growth CAGR since 2017 with 10% plus annual growth revenue growth objective through 2025. Disciplined management team focus on accreditative acquisitions. We have observed the management team of CLS for several years, including the last five years where they developed their lifecycle solution strategy to drive resilient and reliable growth into the future. We believe they are highly disciplined with a strong focus on resiliency and profitability and return on invested capital. They have executed multiple highly successful and accredited acquisitions, most recently with PCI Limited in November 2021. They have paid down a net debt after the PCI acquisition to position themselves for additional accredited M&A opportunities. We believe they have executed, executed well during the supp supply chain problems and COVID pandemic issues. When supply chain issues drove customers to request CLS to hold larger inventories to provide safety stock to make sure their orders could be filled, CLS required these customers to post large cash deposits against these increased inventories. In this way, CLS was able to hold larger inventories and protect customers' sales orders and relationships while requiring the customers to finance the increased inventories. This allowed CLS to maintain a high return on invested capital as higher inventories were offset by higher cash deposits. This is just one example of management highly disciplined approach to capital allocation in both organic and inorganic investments. Focus on higher value added services with stickier relationships with customers. CLS has adopted its lifecycle solution strategy over the past five years, and these relationships are higher value added, higher margin, and more resilient with customers. Lifecycle Solutions has a strong focus on engineering and design services, which are specific to customers and often designed into their manufacturing programs far in advance. These sales relationships are more deeply integrated with CLS as a strategic partner to customers rather than a supplier of commodity goods and services. The result has been more stable and predictable revenues, profits, and cash flows as the Lifecycle Solutions program have become a progressively larger share of total revenues, representing about 66% of total revenues in 2022. The market continues to not recognize this major shift in a CLS business model to a higher margin, more resilient and strategic relationship with customers and a more recurring revenue base. Powerful Global Footprint CLS has a powerful global footprint with over 40 sites in CLS network spread across 15 countries. A diversified footprint is key to CLS success. Not only is CLS able to serve customer needs across the globe, whether that is high-touch design or low-cost manufacturing. Diversification has helped partially mitigate geopolitical concerns and COVID impact over the, over the few years. 50% of capacity is in Southeast Asia, a highly sought-after geography. CLS has a strong presence in North America and Europe to capitalize on increasing levels of regionalization. Operational excellence is not just about having the right number of sites in the right location. You need a system of ensuring consistent execution and continuous improvement of safety, quality, cost, delivery. Um, CLS operating system was deployed to drive uh, global standards and operating uh, operations while at the same time empowering local leaders to drive results. Major shareholders are Letco uh, Brousseau and Associates, 13.4%. Uh, Absina uh, Investment Management, uh, interesting, 6.7%. Uh, Smith, Donald and Co., 4.8%. Price per share is $13 and $13.50. Shares outstanding, $125. Market value, $1.688. Um, 52-week range, $8 to $14. Average daily volume, 557 Catalyst, highly cash-generative business model. Low valuation at 4.5x adjusted EBITDA and 7x adjusted EPS, estimated 2023. Attractive free cash flow yield and high single digits. Continued steady growth of revenues, adjusted EBITDA, and adjusted EPS. Business model is resilient, not recognized in market valuation. Long-term and deeply integrated customer relationships are significant barriers to entry. Excellent management team focused on shareholder value. Strong track record of highly accredited acquisitions. Fort Knock balance sheets. Further accredited acquisitions like PCI Limited in November 2021. Risks. 
severe downturn in US uh, in and global economies. Business segments are less resilient than expected, e.g. Uh, capital equipment a segment in ET ATS is expected to be down in 2023. Poor acquisition, which hurts shareholder value. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. Please write down in the comments below what you think of this industry. I think it is really interesting and sounds really good, but also quite complicated since it's uh, so big and so complex. Um, yeah, please write, them down, write down in the comments below what you think. And uh, please